Oh, ooh, you did it again, guys. Startled me. Welcome back. I was just applying my scent of the day, which is Argos Pour Ohm. Yeah. So since you're back, I guess we should do another video. So I've been putting some wear into the new Polo Green Cologne Intense Eau de Parfum. Yeah, let's talk about Polo. I'm going to put my two cents on the newest addition to the Ralph Lauren line. So stay tuned. Cue that intro. Welcome back, Fragrance Family, to another episode of My Two Cents. I am so glad you guys are here. I hope you're doing fantastic, and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous day. And it's a very special day. It's Mother's Day. For So I want to give a shout out to any mothers that are watching my show. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you so much for all you've done for us. It, thank you for birthing us. Thank you for taking care of us. This day is for you. And don't worry, I've... Ladies, I've noticed that uh, like 4% of my viewers are women, but it's okay because I'm going to be doing a new series called What Women Want. And this isn't just going to be for the ladies. Of course, I'm going to be reviewing women's perfumes, but it's for you guys too, you gentlemen. So you know what women want. I mean, don't we all want to know that? I mean, hell, I think women want to know what they want. Yeah. Anyways, but welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. This is the show all about boosting your confidence through the art of fragrance and becoming a lasting scent memory. My name is Brian. Thank you all who have subscribed to my channel. It means so very much to me. Thank you for the love and support. And for those of you who are new to this channel or have been watching my channel for a little while, please know that subscribing is completely free. My advice is completely free. Everything about my show is completely free. In fact, I'm going to be doing a bunch of giveaways, and I've got a giveaway that's going on right now, contest going on, so check it out right here. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that you know when I'm posting new content. Throw me up a couple of these and leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think about the Polo line, what you think of this newest addition to the Ralph Lauren Polo fragrances. But without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys. So I only have a decan. I got it from... My dear friend Frida, it even says it in there, Frida from Dillard's. So I don't own a single polo fragrance and that's okay. I used to, I used to have like, I used to have polo green. I used to have a vintage batch uh, back in the late nineties, early two thousands. I loved it though. I, it, it is definitely an old school, more mature, sophisticated fragrance for us more mature gentlemen. I am in search of a later batch or earlier batch of polo green so if you guys know anything comment down below so anyways let's just go ahead and get into the whiffs and sniffs so i've been wearing this for a few days now i'm going to be using a card because as you saw in the intro i'm already wearing argos porum which i did a full review of the entire house not too long ago yesterday which will be right here go check it out argos is amazing I have fallen in love. I'm smitten. All right, here we go. Four good sprays. So if you are a gentleman who has been wearing polo green for a long time now, this will not be for you because they totally took away the, in my opinion, the original DNA of polo green. I'm going to leave the notes right here for the new cologne intense eau de parfum let's talk about that name real quick it doesn't make sense if you agree yeah comment and here is the old school polo green notes okay as you see that they they they, they took a lot of the original dna away in fact like 90 percent of it so what i get out of this fragrance right up top lots of that mint with some citruses and a little bit of spiciness okay that that mint sticks around for quite a while and then it starts drying down and i don't get a whole lot of jasmine i get a little bit but i get that clary sage most of like most of all here's the thing that i don't like about the new cologne intense eau de parfum 
it doesn't smell like the original. I was hoping for when I saw this was going to be released, I was hoping that they were going to take that original DNA and round it out and soften it. But what they did is they completely changed it and made a more modern, good, yet modern polo cologne. It is bright and airy. It has about a bit of aquatic feeling to it. It's kind of watery. It's not aquatic. It, let me rephrase that. It's not aquatic. It's watery. It kind of reminds me of like spearmint gum. It is good. Is it great? No. Is it going to be bottle worthy in my collection? No, but I'm not saying it won't be bottle worthy in your collection. I definitely go, definitely go get your nose on this. The dry down, I don't get a whole lot of patchouli. I get this, some vetiver, and there is ambroxan in this, but here's the deal. The vetiver is not my favorite type of vetiver. It's, it's just kind of a sweet vetiver. The mint stays on my skin most of the time. They took out all the woods. They took out all the leather. They took out the geranium. They took out the carnation. They took out all the great things that I loved about Polo Green. And that's what I was hoping for, is maybe making it less foresty. It, you know, Polo Green original, I mean, it was like you were walking through the, a, a forest wearing the nicest vintage leather jacket. This has none of that in it. It is just bright, minty, a little herbaceous from the basil. And then it dries down and you don't get any woods. None. And that saddens me. It really does. Um, is it a good fragrance? Yeah. But here's where it sucks. I'm just going to be honest. The performance is terrible. I get about three hours. I wore this three days in a row. And I had to take it, I always take, if I have a decant like this, I always take it with me. And I had to reply it every three, maybe four hours. It, 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 the performance is terrible. And for a cologne intense eau de parfum, God, they could have, they, that's butchered, they butchered that name, butchered it. It should be polo eau de cologne because you do get some projection in the first 30 minutes. Not a whole lot. And it smells better on a card than it does on skin, and which is weird to me. So, yeah. I mean, it is a good fragrance. If you're just getting into fragrance, this is perfect for you. If you are a younger gentleman, I think this is really good if you're wanting to get into the polo line. Also, if you're wanting compliments, I'm going to be honest, I got more negative feedback from this fragrance than I did positive from the ladies. Now, from gentlemen, I got pretty good feedback, but the ladies think it still smells old. I don't get that. I was just like, old? This smells old? Have you smelt the original Polo Green? I mean, that is like, that's old school. That is OG. I don't get old out of this. I get modern, young, bright, fresh, but to each their own. So anyways, it is a good fragrance. Um, at my overall rating, I'm going to give this, and this is going to suck, and I'm sorry, but I give this a four and a half out of 10. I'm not going to pick it up. I'm Like I said, I'm looking for a vintage batch of Polo Green, the original, the original OG, because I'm now at a time in my life because I'm, I'm gearing up on 60 years old. Yeah, just look that good. At a point in my life where I know I can pull it off because I have enough confidence. This one, you don't need a lot of confidence to wear. And it doesn't really do anything for my confidence. So, yeah. That's my review of the new Polo Green Cologne Intense Eau de Parfum. The longest freaking name that doesn't make any sense. Um, so... Yeah, um, I'm, that's it. Get your nose on it. Try it out. Don't take my opinion. Make your own opinion. I um, appreciate you sticking around and watching this review. And that being said, remember, you're stinking beautiful. Give your mom a hug. Give her a kiss. Take her out to dinner. I'm about to go to the Garden of Olives with my mom.
show her a mass amount of love, guys, because today is her day. So thank you again. Until next time, happy scent trails. Rah!